Okay, here is the uh, milk, uh, sorry, Dalefoot um, wool compost for seeds. And for comparison, this is the Melcourt multi-purpose peat free. Um, so just so you know, that's what we've got. So the milk, the Dalefoot, let's have a look up here. So this is made from bracken, comfrey and sheep's wool. And it is, if you squish it together, you can see that it's actually really, really rich and moisture retentive. Um, and that's where I think a lot of people mess up with it, um, you know, because they're not used to how moisture retentive it actually is. And they're not used to how, um, compressed it can become so I'm going to do a bit of an experiment I'm going to have one straight Melcourt one straight Dalefoot and I'm going to have one Dalefoot with vermiculite added for drainage and then I'm going to mix 50-50 of the two um, and we're just going to see you know what happens and there's no reason when you buy something, for example, like the wool compost like this, that you can't just mix a little bit of extra added oomph in because each of these composts is um, unique to yourself. And, you know, you can, in the old days, we used to mix and match compost. We used to, you know, mix our own. And we've stopped doing that. We've we started to expect everyone to just have a bag of stuff that we can just use, um, which is fine, but I'm a big lover of mixing my own stuff. So this is strong germination rates, balanced first feed, reduced watering, which I can definitely say that it definitely does do that. Um, healthy root development, premium quality compost. It is, it's lovely. Um, and I think we just have to change how we use stuff um, and think differently about our various different composts. So um, the male court is mainly bark, um, composted bark, coir, and possibly some council green waste. I'm not entirely sure, but there is a, it's very light, very free draining. It doesn't retain a great deal of nutrients because it's made of mainly bark. And then you've got this, which is mainly wool, um, so highly moisture retentive, bracken and comfrey. Comfrey for the extra added sort of feed. And of course, it is soil association approved, which is amazing. So yeah, here goes an experiment.